what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel i'm steven this this is steven in stereo and in today's video we are going to be checking out the band Dreamcatcher again you guys already know how i feel about this band you mix alternative rock metal pop fucking any of those things maybe even a blend of hip-hop at some point mix those things all together in this wonderful way and also be just like really fucking cool people and i'm pretty much going to be a huge fan so in today's video we are checking out the song deja vu this is from 2019 i want to give a huge shout out to victoria over on patreon for actually request this video thank you so much for your support i'm excited i'm gonna try not to talk so much right now because i really want to listen to this um they're one of those bands that as soon as i see somebody come through with a request on it i fu mm, i get so excited so thank you victoria for introducing me to this band as well let's go Mm. God, I love the breathiness in her vocal. Oh! And that harmony? Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, the way that they fucking blend this music works so goddamn well together. What it does is it actually gives a little bit of a, almost like a gothic feeling, right? Because I think of bands like, like Him and Evanescence, bands that like, you know, they played into the metal part. They had a little bit of those pop elements as well. And because they would have like these instrumentals that would involve like, you know, a piano or an organ and, and like a very like dark way, that darkness adds that goth feeling over it. Right. And it sounds so fucking awesome. And honestly, these women are so fucking cool, especially when they harmonize together because it takes the power of all of them into one with a distorted guitar behind it. You can't fucking not be stoked. <laughs> Hey, a little bit of a like trap beat. Maybe not trap. A little bit of hip hop though. God, this pre chorus. Oh shit! Yes! Oh fuck! Oh my god. Oh, it's so beautiful. Uh oh. Oh my god. Power metal. My God, 
Dude, I fucking love this band. They are the best band ever, period. Dude, I, ugh. okay, I, where do I even want to start? One, I'm hyped as fuck right now because this is just one of those groups where it blends so many of the things I love and puts it all together and it creates something that like, it's so mosh worthy, right? Like how fucking heavier could those guitars have gotten? Like so perfect in those instrumentals. So I love that the chorus is very just like, like we're, we're just, we're kind of out, right? We're vibing this atmosphere. It's very just like out there. It's ambient, right? And then we've got these beautiful vocals happening and, and like, there's like this wonderful breathiness to it. And like, you're kind of being guided along this journey, right? And that pre-chorus starts. And when the pre-chorus starts, I'm already like, oh, this is going to be sick. Like you can just hear something coming, right? It's just fucking building up. Boom. Right there into the chorus. So fucking sick. Heavy as fuck guitars. Having these beautiful moments, these harmonies, melodies, everything coming together, right? Then of course we go back to this very like somber, very like just beautiful moment. A little bit of a hip hop style in that instrumental through that verse. We've got a little bit of cadence that kind of like mimics a little bit of that lyrical delivery. So again, adding a little bit of hip hop to the metal and the goth and the pop, right? All these different variations coming together in this form of a ballad, right? I love the bridge, but I think one thing we have to talk about is the change up once we got to the final chorus because we had the heavy, you know, down tuned. It was like super intense guitaring, um, really wonderful, like very melodic. However, that last chorus goes straight into the genre that is power metal, where you've got the power, you've got the um, the speed, the distortion, kind of everything happening at once. The vocals go up, like, I think they went up a key. They got even higher, right? Very reminiscent of power metal bands. To me, when all of that is put together, I can't imagine being somebody who walks away from this and is not into it. I guess maybe if you're not a fan of, like, metal instrumentals, but I, I mean, I... I think the two uh, genres that like don't get enough credit for just how intense uh, instrumentally they are, it would be metal and country music. And I know you hear me say country music and you're probably like, how? Have you ever listened to an instrumental? It's so intricate. Everything is fucking just all in the back. You got the steel guitars going. There's so much, right? Same goes for metal. Metal is fucking intense on so many levels from every type of subgenre. You've got these like, you know, if it's not really great chord progressions, it's like scales and, and fucking solos and like all this other shit. And what I love is that they take a good blend of those things, adding it with that melodic uh, sound that you get here. These women are so fucking badass, like hands down some of the coolest people I've ever reacted to and easily becoming one of my favorites just because of the power and authenticity that they bring to their music. It's something that we don't always get a lot of like I don't always get a big blend of this style of music so when I do I'm gonna nerd the fuck out I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I want to give a huge shout out to Victoria on Patreon for requesting this and introducing me to this band it means a lot because they're so sick let me know in the comment section what you guys think of Dreamcatcher I'll see you in the next one peace